What's up everybody, Ben Brown here again, and today we're going to be looking at body armor. There are a lot of options on the market. I see a lot of questions flying around social media about body armor. Uh, I've had the opportunity to wear body armor quite a bit, actually, for just being a civilian, probably more than most would. Um, and I've tried out a lot of different types, a lot of different kinds. And yes, I think if you're an American, you should own body armor, absolutely. Not so much for the fact that I think there's bullets whizzing all over the place all the time. Actually, body armor is rarely ever used, but I think a lot of times we take these freedoms for granted. So I wanna encourage you, you're allowed to own it, you're allowed to wear it if you want to, so go ahead and buy some. But there are some things you should think about before you do that. Or maybe you already own body armor and you've thought, wow, this doesn't fit good or feel good. I made a bad purchase. Where do I go from here? So let's talk about NIJ. NIJ is a standard that body armor is tested under without getting too much into detail about it. It's a very expensive process to send a company's body armor through this testing. So what a lot of companies do now is they test their body armor to NIJ standards without actually get this, getting the cert certification. And surprisingly enough and pleasantly enough that a lot of these body armors are passing. They're, they're made very well, they work, and just because they don't have that specific certification doesn't mean they're not as good as ones with the certification. So NIJ, look it up if you want more details on it. I'm not super familiar with it. You will run across that when you're shopping, tested to NIJ standards, or NIJ certified. So, boring, but you will run across it. I haven't shot any of the body armor you're gonna see today, but I will include some references to videos on YouTube where this body armor is shot. There's a ton of videos out on the internet of body armor getting shot, so I didn't feel the need to do it. I'll just direct you to some people that have really put the time in shooting these things and proving they do stop rounds. First up, we have a Safe Life Defense. This is a concealable multi-threat vest. This is 3A. For those of you that don't know, 3A means pistol ballistics. It'll defeat pistol ballistics and shotgun slugs. So anything from up to 44 mag, this body armor will defeat it, including shotgun slugs. This is a one-stop shop for body armor. As you can see, it's concealable. It has side coverage as well as your front and back coverage. Very comfortable to wear. You can find these for anywhere between 300 and 400 bucks. I know that sounds expensive, but again, it's a one-stop shop. You couldn't get away with wearing this under a t-shirt, but under a bigger jacket, under maybe a flannel, you totally could conceal a, some body armor like this. Very comfortable to wear. It is a little hot, but all body armor's hot. Uh, I could run around in it, move in it freely. Um, and that's really something you wanna look for when you're shopping for body armor. You wanna be able to still have as much mobility as possible. So this is a great option for defeating pistol ballistics, but it's not gonna def defeat those rifle ballistics. So your typical 5.56, 7.62 by 39, 308, that's your level three plates. This will not defeat it. So again, this is a very concealable vest, very comfortable. Just uses Velcro on the sides to kind of hold everything together. This will wear out over time, but uh, you, gotta, you gotta wear these a lot to wear them out. Uh, Safe Life has great customer service. They're just great people. And uh, they actually have a guarantee if you do get shot with, with wearing their vest, they will replace it no cost. So. You got that going for you. All right, staying along the same lines, this is another Safe Life Defense vest. It is 3A as well, but as you can tell, it's got some molly on the front, so you can outfit this with pouches, med kits, that sort of thing. It's got a spot for a nameplate, drag handle on the back, just a little bit more aggressive of a vest, so not so, mo so low profile, although if you ran it slick, you could totally get away with it. Um, it just gives you more options to outfit it. Still. Still pistol ballistic rated, so you're not gonna defeat any rifle rounds with this, 
but this is a vest you would see probably on police officers, first responders, that sort of thing. Very comfortable, still got a lot of movement in it. Something to think about if you're wearing body armor, they do make garments. 221B makes a garment that you can wear underneath body armor that breathes a little bit more, that's a little bit more comfortable if you're wearing body armor for a long period of time. So if, you, if you're an individual that you think, man, I'm gonna be all day in level three armor or level three A armor, you wanna be as comfortable as possible, you can find some garments out there that are going to just make life a little bit better while you wear this stuff. In front now, I have a first spear carrier. This is a very minimalist carrier. This is another route you could take. You can put any type of plate you want in here. Um, and standard size plates are 10 by 12. That's what you're gonna commonly see. When I do the tactical games, I run a 10 by 12 plate. I run a steel in the back and a ceramic in the front. I do that because I need to meet a certain weight while running the tactical games. I have to have at least a 15 pound carrier with no ammo in it. So the steel plate in the back gives me eight pounds and then ceramics, depending on which ceramic you get, you're gonna be anywhere from six to seven pounds plus your carrier, you're right at that 15 pound mark. This one, I have a steel in the back. I like running steels in the back no matter what because you're gonna have more weight on, on the front if you have mags and gear. So if you have less weight on the back, you're gonna start to see your vest start to creep down on you and become a little bit unbalanced. So running a heavier plate in the back just balances everything out a little bit, makes it a little bit more comfortable on your shoulders. Again, this is a first beer, very minimalist, no cummerbund, basically just has a strap. They have these fast tubes here, so you can just kind of pull them and jump out of them if you need to. This is very easy and quick to put on. Uh, the front plate is a battle steel from Botac. Uh, Mr. Guns and Gear did a review on this plate, shot it all up, and it stopped everything. Now, this is one of those instances where it's tested to NIJ standards, it's not NIJ certified. So take that, it, keep that in mind. If you absolutely need NIJ certification, you're not gonna get that out of this plate. This plate is very nice though, because it's only three and a half pounds and under an inch thick. So it's very, very comfortable to wear. I actually couldn't even wear this setup at the Tackle Games because I'm well below that 15 pound mark. But again, this is awesome to wear around on the range, wear around all day because I'm shaving weight. It just feels really, really nice. This carrier, since I have it on, I'll give you kind of a layout of what's going on here. I got two mag pouches up front here. I got PMAG 40s in it. And then they kind of give you this auxiliary pouch, which is basically for medical. And that's what I filled it with. But obviously you could put whatever you want in here, radio, snacks, whatever you want to put in the front of your carrier. I really like this, again, just because it's minimalist and very, very comfortable. All right, and for those of you that are pretty familiar with Wiseman Company, you've probably seen me in this one a lot. This is a Spiritus Systems LV119. Absolutely love this carrier. So comfortable, has everything you need, nothing you don't. Hugs tight to the body. It also holds the plates, the 10 by 12 plates, really snugly. So they're not moving and sliding around inside the carrier. That can wear on you after a long day. I wear this for the tactical games, so I've spent eight hours at a time in this carrier, off and on, obviously, for two days. Climbed ropes with it, climbed through rubble, climbed over walls, ran five miles at a stretch with this thing on, and it's very, very comfortable. Minimal hot spots on this carrier. And this is the one where I keep an AR500 plate in the back, that's my eight plus pounds, and I keep a ceramic in the front, which is gonna put me right at that 15 pound mark. So this one is in Woodland M81, as you can see. The cummerbund on this is really, really nice. Hugs to the body, doesn't let anything move around. One thing to note about cummerbunds, if you are doing a lot of physical activity and you're breathing hard, these will restrict your breathing. I've noticed that. So sometimes if you're really huffing and puffing, you gotta loosen these up a little bit just so you can breathe. Otherwise, they're just gonna choke you out. I have also worn the Ferro Concept Slickster. I wore that for a long time. And some of the reasons I didn't like that one and I switched to the Spiritus Systems was because it just didn't fit my body that great and the plates weren't very secure inside the carrier. So I had a lot of movement with it on my body and over time, it just gets a little bit uncomfortable. 
For some people out there, it might be perfect. Again, you're gonna have to do some research and figure out what works best for you. Now, if it's me, I would get level three or level four straight out of the gate. You can price level three and level four plates for very close to what you'd pay for a 3A plate. So you might as well just go for three or four right out of the gate. Buy once, cry once, be done with it. I also would try to find the lightest plates possible if you, if weight isn't concerned. Obviously, if you're competing like me, I need to meet a certain weight. But if you don't need to meet a certain weight, find as light as plates as possible. This Bowtack battle steel plate in front of that other carrier, the first spear carrier, three and a half pounds. That is really, really light. And believe it or not, they make lighter plates than that, that are level three. You're gonna pay for it, but if you have to wear this thing all day, trust me, you want as light as possible. Guys, I know we covered a lot in this video and there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been explained or probably hasn't been answered. So leave me a comment down below. I will try to get to everything as best I can. I really just wanted to give you an idea of what to shop for, what to look for. There's a ton of stuff out there now and prices seem to keep going down on body armor. Again, I think if you're a red-blooded American, you should own it. Why not, right? My name is Ben. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next video.